hi guys so this is going to be my part of the makeup routine video so let's get on with it i use the alex nine drawers from ikea literally the most basic drawers these are literally the best so let's get on with what's inside my makeup collection so quickly what's on top i just have two plants because i'm obsessed with plants and a crown which literally is so extra a brand actually sent this to me and my name's on grave so in my first drawer we have foundations powders primers so although it looks really stressful that it's actually a system to this so this is all of my concealers my favorite concealers are all here then my powders are here and also at the back a bit there then these are my most used foundations and if you're wondering why i have like a really pale one i use this for cut creases and then at the back I have all my primers and some more foundations here and then all my primers and glow stuff and setting sprays are all down there. So this is the second drawer. This is basically everything else. I have this little container. I get all these containers from like TK Maxx. So at the front here I have this little um, palette, my Fenty things, my eyebrows, mascaras and also my brow glossier products, my single eyeshadows. Then I have these which are eyeshadow primers, singles, loads of singles there. These are like really cool um, holographics. Single highlighters and then I have all these like eyeliners, just liners in general. And then loads of more single eyeshadows. And then at the back you have like liquid glitter and things like that. Things I don't really reach for unless I'm doing a specific look. And then at the back there we also have my bronzers which I reach for all the time. So we have my Chanel, my Urban Decay, my Bourjois which is right there. And also two highlighters back there as well. So in my third drawer we have my lipsticks. If you guys watched mine and Grace's lipstick collection that we did, I had so many lipsticks. I've definitely sorted out my collection. There's still a lot, but there's a lot less than I used to have. But here I have my most used lipsticks. So these obviously range from different brands. So I have like Gucci, Primark, Barry M, M K, MAC. And then here I basically have all my red lipsticks my like out there colors so i have like gray purple blue here i have all my pinks and oranges which is quite small because i don't actually like the color pink on me all of my nudes and then all of my nudes so i have two for nudes because it's like what i reach for most as well as reds i love nudes and reds it's like the only lip color you'll see me in i used to have all my palettes in one drawer but it was just like too much for me to handle so i've split them into two so the first palette drawer you guys see is actually all of my high-end palettes I have Kat Von D, um, this is Kylie Cosmetics, uh, at the back here I have a massive Too Faced, three of the um, Beauty Bay ones, which I don't even know if they're high end or not, but I love those palettes, so I decided to keep them there. Uh, more M K, Too Faced, MAC, Tarte at the back, another Tarte palette, Doll Beauty, uh, Modern Renaissance and Zoeva. I think that's oh and more Too Faced there then my most reached palettes in here are a million percent my beauty big beauty bay palettes because you can do loads of them i'm just obsessed with them and also this dull light this is like my everyday highlighter let me show you guys wow look at that mirror <laughs> i use the light shade because i'm pale on to the next we have my drugstore palette I've organised these into Nip and Fab palettes. I love Nip and Fab. All my Revolution. Um, back here is this brand which you guys might have heard of. It's called GWA. They're the highlighters. I'm obsessed with the eyeshadows. I love the colours. Guys, what a pretty palette. Ignore that, the black stuff on there. Obviously, an eyeshadow's just crumbled a bit, but the palette is stunning. And then these are Maybellines. These are all Maybellines, NYX, and this is actually a primer palette which I used for a video on my second channel. All these body shop palettes, again the body shop palettes are amazing, I have like little singles. At some event they had like custom palettes that you can make, so I made this little one there. And then these are just some random brands which only have like one of them. So we have some Barry M's, some Sleeks, some Collection. So yeah, there's my palettes. 
if it sounds like I'm lazy, it's because I am. I'm obsessed with face masks. I love face masks. I use them all the time. So I have a load of face masks all here. So these are all of my sheet masks here. A majority of these are Holler and Glow because I love Holler and Glow masks, which you guys can actually get in Primark. And then I also have other brands that um, mask companies have sent me. I can't remember what this mask company is called, but I'll put it on the screen. They sent like... They send like subscription boxes. Then I also have the like packet face masks. Again, all holler and glow here. Then I just have some lip balms because I'm obsessed with lip balm. I use my Glossier one all the time. If I run out of that, I'll use these. And then I just have some SPF from the body shop. Then I have a load of eyelashes. So I have a whole thing of eyelashes there in this basket. It's basically just full of eyelashes and also little, oh my God. <laughs> It's full of load of hand sanitizers. In here I have makeup bags. So I have this one which says my name on it. Um, which Nicola actually got me who's Grace's mum. She's the best. And this is my favourite makeup bag. It says weird I want it and it's from My Mood. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I love this. Then I have a load of perfumes. And then I also have some glitters there from the Dripsy Shrine. They sent me loads of stuff. I used it all up in festival season. But I still have some glitters left over, which I'm going to keep. I have my wig. The reason I have a wig is because my hair takes my hair takes a lot of effort to do. It's not as, as simple as just like straightening it. So if I don't have time and I need to film, I will just put this wig on. I don't think I've actually ever filmed with this wig on. I've taken Instagram photos many times with this wig. I'm really bad at applying it, so I'm pretty sure you'll guys be able to notice. My last drawer, which is my favourite drawer, is all stuff from you guys, which I keep. Every single thing that you guys give us, I keep. I have stuff here from, like, years and years and years ago. And if you don't see your, um letter in that drawer it's because i've also made this this like massive board of things me and grace have done and letters from you guys and like memories and those my alex nine okay, guys, so i thought i'd start by just showing you an overview of my drawers they're from ikea they're not the alex nine which everyone else has which i probably should have gotten because they're a lot more like suitable for makeup drawers but these do the job well i've got my go-to lipsticks i've got my dior lip glosses which i use so much this one is nearly run out but i love it so i'm keeping it on display and then i've got my tiffany perfume which is in here and um, my chanel perfume on top and then just this your box on there so my top drawer is probably my most unorganized my drawers really reflect my personality this is my personality unorganized first palette i've got is the born to run palette from urban decay i actually haven't sort of gotten a chance to play with the colors but how cute are they my two face palettes which are definitely a go-to for me they're just sort of classic this doll light palette which is amazing honestly these highlighters are so blinding you can get it on beauty bag the cat eyes palette which is perfect for smoky eyes the natural matte palette which is basically a matte version of the natural eyes palette and then i've got the urban decay back talk palette which is really cool it comes with a blush side and an eyeshadow side it's soft glam palette i love this palette so much chocolate bonbon palette and also have my very very old shade and light palette i basically have all my eyelashes which i'm still yet to use um i've got loads of just random packets of them and then i've got lots of elegant touch stick on nails which i'm yet to use because i'm not allowed them for school but they're so nice look at these red ones next drawer i've got some foundations primers sort of liquid highlighters in here and then just concealers in here basically so this Eve Lom like BB cream the collection last imperfection foundation this Too Faced primer which smells amazing it smells like coconut I've got this Smashbox primer which Grace actually got me for Christmas I think and it's really nice it's like really illuminating moving on to our concealer drawer I have got the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is my go-to at the moment. The Eraser Eye, which is like just a classic, really. Everyone sort of has it in their collection. I've got some colour correctors, which I actually find really useful. Like, you'd, you'd be surprised at how useful they actually are. We have a random selection of products. 
here we have an Ofra highlighter. This is in the shade Rodeo Drive and it is so nice. It's so pigmented. I then have this really nice Lancome highlighter. I then have this Milani blush. It's so pretty. It's like a rose shape. I then have a like banana powder. This one is from Nip and Fab. And then in this little segment, I don't know why there's a palette lurking in here, but I've got the Anastasia glow kit i have this chanel cream bronzer which is definitely probably one of my favorite ever makeup products and then this drawer is just like a load of random lipsticks which again i probably should get more wear out of but i just reach for my ones like on the top more urban decay lip glosses this maybelline lips thing um matte lipsticks um, I've got my lip liners in here as well actually this one's a Charlotte Tilbury one it's such a good shade this little section here is like mascaras so I've got my this is my favorite mascara of all time and I've got two of them one's like run out but I keep it anyway like just in case I lose my other one um, I've got a brow control and shape gel from Isla I do actually really like Isla for eyebrow products as well I really recommend this one um, I have a Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow these really cool like metallic shimmery lip glosses they're from incredible this one is called girl king and this one is called girl king as well interesting um and then i've got more glosses so i've got this lancome one which is really nice i have got more urban decay ones that is everything in my well this drawer ah this drawer is like my toiletries i have this coffee scrub which i'm yet to use i'm really looking forward to using this actually i have um some face masks and i have some like body lotions and stuff this is um a body shop like banana moisturizer it just smells so good i can't even like even if you just go in there and smell it it is amazing i literally love it so much um this my mood london body scrub a random nail varnish from nails inc interesting finally we're doing it our makeup collections okay done bye so we hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did and thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one bye